la France est belle, mais comment la France est-elle devenue ce qu'elle est aujourd'hui? France is beautiful, but how did it become what it is today? Good morning, my name is Francisco Mendez, and today I will be discussing the question, to what extent has the, Fr has the French Industrial Revolution affected the roles of her colonies during the 19th century? France today is known as a art, architectural, cultural, gastronomical, and fashion industry-driven country that has that spans her flag over 12 different time zones throughout the world. Its influences can be seen throughout many countries' cultures and throughout many economies in the world. But how did it become what it is today? France, like many of its European counterparts, have gone through the process of colonization. Colonization is when a country goes and expands her <coughs> territories to other parts of the world that are already indigenously inhabited, inhabited. It is driven by three things, gold, God, and glory. The gold part of gold, God, and glory is that the countries want to extract the natural resources from the colonies in order to increase their economy. The God part is that they want to religiously expand and uh, uh, <coughs> provide their religion throughout the whole world, such as Roman Catholicism, which was a major factor and a major drive for Spanish colonization. The glory part is that in order to become a high seat amongst world powers, the, colonies, the countries believe that in order to do that, they need to colonize as many countries as they could, as many territories as they could, in order to expand their borders and become more powerful with more population and more people to fight in their armies. And colonization in Africa looked like this. France, Britain, Portugal, Germany, Belgium, Spain, and Italy all had different controls over different regions in Africa. France, as you can see, is highlighted in the blue, dark blue, and it has control over North, West, Equatorial Africa, as well as present-day Madagascar. During the time of French colonization in Africa, at the same time, it was going under, it was going through industrialization. As French author Agricard Pediger states in his article, Industrialization in France, the French industrialization model was significantly slower than that of its European counterparts, as can be seen by the French model and the English model. In order to compete with the European counterparts, France needed to get its help from elsewhere. Thus, it needed to colonize to the closest region, which was Africa. This is France, Africa. It started in North Africa and made its way southward. The person who drove this idea of colonization in France was French author Provis Paradol. He was also a politician who convinced the French government that in order to compete with its European counterparts and in order to become a high power amongst world leaders, it would need to spread to North Africa in order to take control of the Mediterranean Sea. That way, exports coming from the south part of Africa from other countries such as England, France, and Italy, England, Spain, and Italy, it would have to go through northern France, thus paying the northern France um, taxes on the exports that it wants to get to the mainland. So they started colonizing. They went from North Africa and downward. This allowed them to extract natural resources from their colonies, such as petroleum, natural gas, cotton, oil, gold, uranium, and also coffee. This led to a decrease in artisan in your work. As author Derek Thompson states in his article, A World Without Work, the Industrial Revolution moved people into factories, and that globalization and automation moved them back out, giving rise to a nation of services. But throughout these reshufflings, the total number of jobs has always increased. So even though basket weaving and other artisan <coughs> ideals and jobs went down throughout the colonies in Africa, other jobs, such as mining and farming, gain a significant rise. As author Adam Smith states in his book, The, um, uh, the Wealth of Nations, the policy of Europe considers the labor of all mechanics, artificers, and manufacturers as skilled labor, and that of country laborers as common labor. This means that country laborers, such as farming, gain an increase 
in places like West Africa where the main extraction was cotton and Madagascar where the main extraction was coffee. Even though these led to an increase, there was a decrease in other parts of French Africa because of the resources that it had, such as petroleum and natural gas in Northern Africa, crude oil in uh, Equatorial Africa, uranium in, West Af in part of West Africa. So even though the number of jobs of artificiary work decreased, the total number of jobs in mining, extracting petroleum, and farming has increased. France depended heavily on Africa. Even though Africa gave, gave all of its resources to France and to other countries in Europe, France needed Africa if it was ever going to compete with its European counterparts. So even though France gained a large economy and extracted many natural resources from France, from Africa, France built a middle class in Northern Africa and established many railroads and transportation systems, systems throughout French Africa. Africa really boosted the economy of France and led to innovation in technology, many uh, products such as uh, cars and automobiles, airplanes, technology, cultural events and cultural um, works such as art and um, some basket weaving, but it wasn't much. It also led to um, products that we know today such as L'Oreal, <coughs> Coco Chanel, and Single Blend. Give some more question. What are your questions? All right, so two questions for you. Um, what information did you need before you began your research, and then how did you use that information? The information that I needed before I began my research was information on what France really is today and how France today has been shaped. That's the, the, the setting stone of my research of what France is today. Thus, from that, I was able to branch out to different research questions, different research possibilities, to in order to make for my research question. All right. Next question. Um, <coughs> as you were going through your research, what additional questions emerged, and how important were these questions? The additional questions that emerged from my research was um, how did the, the indigenous people of Africa feel about the colonization process? And how did uh, those people in Africa were? How were they greatly affected by the colonization from France? And from those two, I was able to formulate my um, thesis question. All right. Thank you.